So uh, this past week, I was in the office every day this week, and I was wearing my new uh, Hoka shoes, and uh, ended up getting the uh, both the uh, Clifton and the Rincon. And it was amazing how uh, by the time we got to the end of the week, everybody had commented about my new shoes. And someone says, hey, are you going to do a video on that? And I thought, hey, that's a great idea. So let me tell you a little bit about the Hoka One One Clifton 8s that I got. Uh, they're the ones that I have on right now. And as some of you already know, um, I have usually have been in the past an uh, ASICs guy. Uh, I've also owned the Adidas Ultra Boost 21 and the New Balance 1080. And those, all three of those type of shoes are really good shoes. But uh, I've been hearing a lot of good things about the Hoka shoes. And I wanted to give them a try. And so on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I wore the Hoka One, One uh, Clifton 8s. And then on Tuesdays and Thursday, I went ahead and tried the Hoka One One Rincon 2. And both are great shoes. So uh, let me tell you a little bit about the Clifton 8. Um, the Clifton brand uh, of version of the Hoka One One shoes uh, is the standard uh, shoe that first came out. It was kind of the first one that came about and is basically the standard to put them on the map. Now the Hoka One One Clifton 8s are a performance running shoe. Uh, they're an incredibly uh, stable shoe and uh, comes in both standard and Y sizes, which is nice because uh, most of the time, about 80% of the time, I typically get the Y shoes. They just feel a lot more comfortable. And even when they stretch out a little bit, um, I've noticed that I like the wide, wide uh, type shoes a little bit better. And so, uh, of course, I love to try on shoes because, um, you know, there's a lot of things I'll buy online without trying. Uh, but I noticed that I always have to return the shoes at least 50% of the time when I don't try them on beforehand. And so uh, I went ahead and tried these on. I like the wide variety best. And so I went ahead and got the wide size of the, uh, the Clifton 8s. And I'll tell you, it feels like uh, walking on soft, plush uh, carpet or a pillow even. Um, very, very a light shoe. And uh, it just feels like walking on air. It's a very breathable mesh and uh, uh, throughout the shoe, and it is really nice and breathable. And, uh, you know, we've had uh, this last week uh, here in the Pacific Northwest, we had uh, 101, 106, and 109 degree days, which is really uncommon here. But even um, walking outside, doing a little uh, light jog from uh, building to building, uh, I love the way these shoes feel. Uh, and how I how I take my steps, um, it just feels really comfortable uh, and basically effortless. And although I do do some uh, light running, um, uh, most of my usage these days are just basically going from building to building or just everyday use, uh, walking around town. And I love the way these shoes feel on my feet. Uh, the heel, the arch, and the tongue are well padded. And it's basically great for everyday use. Um, I believe uh, these shoes retail for about $130. Um, I think you can get the uh, Clifton 7 version, uh, the previous version, for like $30 less if you want to save a little bit of money. Uh, there's not a lot of changes from the Clifton 7 versus the Clifton 8. So if you want to save $30, uh, go ahead and go with the Clifton 7s. But... Um, in comparing the Adidas Ultra Boost 21 or my Asics or my New Balance 1080, uh, so far from the three days that I've worn this shoe, uh, feels much, much better. And the light jog I took uh, from building to building probably about two, three dozen times with these shoes on. Uh, I love the way it gives and springs a little bit. Uh, very comfortable, whether I'm walking, briskly walking or running. Uh, jogging, um, you know, it just uh, it just feels amazingly great, and so I highly recommend these shoes. I think if you are a uh, performance runner, or just a casual runner, or you even want to use this for everyday use, uh, this shoe is a great shoe. And so go out there, uh, try some on, uh, give it a try, see how it feels. Uh, Hoka has a variety of different lines, so try them all and see which one fits for you. But um, 
you know, I'm using these shoes about 80% of the time for everyday use uh, with a little bit of light running, uh, sometimes go for a jog and uh, love um, how these shoes feel. Now, I did order the Nike uh, Zoomax Invincible Fly Knit Shoe, and I also ordered the Skecher Glide Step Sports Wave uh, with air memory, uh, air cool memory foam. And so those two shoes I did buy online because I couldn't find them around town where I wanted, uh, where I looked. And so I ordered the Nike Zoomax and the Skechers Glide Step online, and I'm waiting for them to arrive, and I'll give you a review of those two shoes and compare them. Uh, I am a kind of a shoe nut sometimes, and I like to try different things on and see how they feel on my feet. And I like to give my uh, shoes a break and uh, try different ones on from uh, from day to day. And I like the variety. But um, I'll give you a review of the Nike Zoom Max and the Skechers Glide Step when they come in. Uh, I'll also uh, include a video on the Rincon 2s that I also purchased and uh, tried them on and used them on Tuesdays and Thursdays of this past week. And so I'll give you a review on that in just a moment. 